warm greetings everyone today we are going to discuss a very simple and beautiful poem written by imtiaz darkar the title of the poem is another woman before starting with the line by line explanation of this poem let me tell you something about the writer first imtiaz is a poet artist and documentary filmmaker she was awarded the queen's gold medal for poetry in 2014 Her collections include Parda Postcards from God I Speak for the Devil The Terrorist at My Table Living Fingerprints and Over the Moon She has had 10 solo exhibitions of drawings in India London New York and Hong Kong She scripts and directs films many of them for non-government organizations in India working in the area of shelter education and health for women and children her poetry brings together a number of themes and issues of contemporary relevance including home freedom geographical and cultural displacements communal tensions and the politics of gender her poems deal with the various facets of the lives of women but her focus is on the injustice operation and violence they are subjected to this was all about the poet now let me tell you something about this particular poem another woman another woman is a poem about a social evil and it narrates personal traumas in simple stark and sympathetic language the poem details the inhuman treatment that society meets out to women specifically it is about the evil of dowry and its deadly consequences another woman raises awareness about the ever increasing number of bride burnings and dowry deaths taking place in our society by its suggestion that the woman portrayed could be any woman the poem analyzes the socio economic and cultural conditions that limit women's development and oppress them under patriarchal structures written in a very simple style the poem gives voice to the silent victims of atrocities that often go unnoticed and unreported atrocities that are often committed with the permission of society Now let us begin with the explanation part of this poem Another Woman. Let us take up the first stanza. This morning she bought green methi in the market choosing the freshest bunch picked up a white radish imagined the crunch it would make between her teeth the sweet sharp taste then put it aside thinking it an extra begins counted her coins out carefully tied them a small bundle into her sari at the waist came home faced her mother in law's dark looks took the leaves and chopped them her hands stained yellow from the juice cut an onion fine and cooked the whole thing in the pot salt and cumin seeds thrown in over the stove shielding her face from the heat These lines capture the stark picture of a woman belonging to a traditional lower middle class Indian family. It is to be noted that the fate of all women in traditional families of all ranks and classes is almost the same. Only the situations are different. The woman mentioned in these lines objectifies the trauma of all women in the Indian society. She went to the market this morning and bought green methi. it was the freshest bunch that she chose she picked up a white radish also which she had a mind to buy she imagined the sweet sharp taste of the crunch it would make between her teeth but then she put the radish aside she thought it would be an extra against to spend money on that radish she counted the few coins carefully that were left with her after paying for the methi bunch she tied them into a small bundle at the edge of her sari and tucked the bundle in her waist when she came back home her mother in law looked at her angrily and scornfully the woman showed no reaction at all and sat down silently to chop the methi leaves her hands got stained with the yellow juice from the methi then she cut an onion fine and cooked the whole thing in a pot 
while it was cooking over the stove she threw in some salt and cumin seeds though she had to keep facing the dark looks of her mother in law she tried to shield her face from the heat of the stove now the next lines the usual words came and beat their wings against her the money spent curses heaped upon her parents who had sent her out to darken other people's doors these lines show how the indian mothers in law keep abusing and cursing their daughters in law for no rhyme or reason the woman in the poem has done no wrong at all she has just bought a bunch of green methi and that too not for herself alone it is to cook for the whole family and yet the mother in law accuses her of spending too much money wastefully and where do the poor parents of the woman come in the picture and yet the mother in law keeps cursing them she says that they have sent their daughter to darken the lives of people in other homes here we have a glimpse of the tragedy with the indian women it is not only they who suffer insults and rebukes at the hands of their in-laws but their parents also are showered with abuses in the choicest language it is no wonder then that the birth of a girl child is dreaded in indian families the next lines she crouched as usual on the floor beside the stove when the man came home she did not look into his face nor raise her head but bent her back a little more nothing gave her the right to speak these lines show another aspect of this poem the woman suffers not only at the hands of her mother in law but also at the hands of her husband while the mother in law keeps abusing and insulting her openly the husband remains indifferent to her sad state the woman has not the courage to complain to her husband about what his mother does to her all day and even if she does she knows it would be of no use to do that the husband would favor his mother and never believe what his wife says so the woman says nothing to him she remains sitting on the floor beside the stove when her husband comes home from his work she doesn't even look at his face or raise her head because she has no hope from him instead she bends her back even more and keeps crouching as usual she had not been given the right to speak even it was like beating someone but not allowing him to cry even the woman's fate is not better than that of a dumb helpless beast of burden that has to keep moving on in spite of the painful strokes from its cruel master now the next lines she watched the flame hiss up and beat against the cheap old pot a wing of brightness against its blackened cheek this was the house she had been sent to the man she had been bound to the future she had been born into using highly metaphorical language the poet gives an objectified image of the woman's terribly tortured state in these lines on the physical level she is watching the flame from the stove hiss up it is beating against the cheap old pot in which the green methi is being cooked a wing of the bright flame is beating against the blackened cheek of the old pot but the highly disturbing import of the poet's words comes home to us when we realize that the flame that is hissing up symbolizes the mother in law's biting taunt the cheap old pot against which the flame is beating is the poor woman's heart and her soul the blackened cheek is the woman's youth and beauty that has been eaten up by the wing of brightness her husband who is an offshoot of that very flame and the green methi that is being cooked in the cheap old pot says in simmering sighs this was the house she had been sent to this was the man she had been bound to this was the future she had been born into what a painfully stark reality the poet has projected before the reader the helpless woman wonders if this was the house she had been sent to if this was the man she had been married to and if this was the future she had been born into 
what a sad comment on our society that treats its daughters like this let us take up the next lines so when the kerosene was thrown just a moment of surprise a brilliant spark it was the only choice that she had ever known another torch blazing in the dark another woman we shield our faces from the heat here the poet continues with her metaphor of the flame rising from the kerosene stove when more of air is pumped into the burning stove a strong jet of oil spurts out of the nozzle at once there is a brilliant spark of fire so also happens with the woman whose heart is already burning with the constant nagging of her in-laws and sometimes when an excessively inflammable remark is pumped into the burning heart she burns out but then in a moment she herself feels surprised over what she has done she realizes that her fate could never have been different it was the only choice that she had ever known in fact that was the only choice open to a woman in the indian society and hers was not an exceptional case she was just another woman she was just another torch blazing in the dark it was in her fate to keep burning and remain surrounded by darkness but what about others in the society don't they feel the heat of the fire in which the poor woman is burning we shield our faces from the heat says the poet bitingly the society remains unconcerned about the terrible fate of the unfortunate woman This poem is a bitter comment on the issues related to discrimination and exploitation on the basis of gender. Taking up a little incident in the life of a married woman in lower middle class family, the poet projects the fate of all women in our society. The poem conveys a message that we remain indifferent to the sufferings of the poor woman. So, this was all about this poem Another Woman. Hope you have understood it well. Thank you and have a nice day.